a scary movie, like very horror movie. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, I watched some few scary movies like five or four times. <laughs> but yeah, I I don't like to watch that because it's very scary. Uh, like ghosts came from out of nowhere. Yeah, I was I got very scared. So yeah, I don't like to watch that. But yeah, I like a little scary movie like thriller and but I also like animation movie. But I don't like too scary movie. Okay, that's good. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. What about you? Do you like animation? I like. I think animation movies are awesome. I I watch them with my sister because my sister is five years old. <laughs> so we watch a lot of cartoons. We watch a lot of Disney movies. We watch a lot of movies, like animated movies. But yeah, it's fun. Uh, horror movies, no, because I get scared. Like I don't like to walk in the dark after I watch a horror oh, movie. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, you know, yeah, it's very scary. Like, oh yeah, in the bedtime, if you want to go to like restroom, or if you want to go to the toilet, yeah, it's very scary. Exactly, it is so scary. That's why I avoid it. I don't watch them at all, just so I don't get scared. <laughs> <laughs> I see. Yeah, I know. Scary movies are very scary. Exactly, that's their point. Now, what do you? Mm, okay, what do you like to do on the weekends? What does your the weekend? Yeah, what does your usual weekend look like? Uh, my weekend uh, in weekend I I studied more. I listen English a lot because I have a lot of time. So in the weekends I usually climb stairs every day like yeah, I live in an apartment and it has lots of stairs so I like to climb stairs and listen to English at the same time. I have my own earphone. Yeah, so I like to listen English and exercise at the same time. And I usually climb stairs with my brothers. And I also like to spend time with my brothers. And these days, my brother and I are uh, interested in like catch ball. Do you know catch ball? Catch ball. Is it like when oh, you yeah, just like, catch. like throw the ball to each other and then you pick it up and then you throw? Pick, oh yeah, throw, throw catch. ball and throw ball and uh, like throw ball and catch and throw ball and catch over and over again. Yeah, we like mm -hmm. to play with, we like to play that. So yeah, we like to exercise in this week, in weekends, and, and we like to ride a bike. Yeah, but these days we're not riding bike a lot, but we like to ride a bike, and uh, I like to spend time with my family in weekends. Okay, that's awesome. Oh yeah, what about you? Uh, how's your like? How is your weekend like? Um, my weekend, I usually work on the weekends, so oh. I usually work. Because like I'm working on two jobs right now, so I usually yeah. work on Cambly, and uh, on the weekend, and I also yeah. sometimes if my boss wants me to do something, I also do it on the weekend for my job in Miami, and yeah. then I relax a little. But I also have an exam that's in thirty days, so I'm feeling a little overwhelmed. <laughs> oh wow, you work in weekends, yeah. <laughs> well, well, the, you work very hard. You know, it's hard to work in weekends. Yeah, and then I have to study as well, which is cool. But when you have two jobs and you also have to study, it gets a little, I would yeah, say, yeah, that... busy. <laughs> it gets a little busy. Uh, I see. Well, yeah, you work very hard. Yeah, that's cool. Uh, thank you. And... Wow, you have such good habits. Like again, like it's so productive for you to listen to English while you're like going up the stairs. Oh yeah, I I like to climb stairs. So I used to climb ten times every day, and it has about twenty to the floor, and it has uh, three hundred fifty five stairs, and I climb ten times every day. So maybe like three hundred fifty five multiplication ten is. Yeah, three thousand five hundred fifty. Yeah, I climb three thousand five hundred fifty stairs every day, but these Whoa. days I don't because it's very hard. Okay, that's <laughs> awesome. So yeah, yeah you so would definitely days. make a good PE teacher. You're already working out a lot. Oh yeah, I like to be healthy and eating exercise, and I like sports, so I like to play soccer with my friends. Uh, yeah, what about you? Do you like exercise? 
I want to like exercise, but so far I didn't manage to. <laughs> Yeah. Like I'm trying to push myself to start dancing, but exercise yeah. was a habit that I never had. And I wish I did. Like I really wish I had this habit before, yeah. but I have to start it now, you know, and I'm trying, but I fail at it a lot. <laughs> <laughs> well, I see. <laughs> but yeah, it's a, it's a really good habit that I wish I had. Yeah, well, these days and... you're interested in that. What did you say? Uh, this is you're interested in dancing, right? Yeah, I am looked into online classes because I didn't really feel like running or going outside. Yeah. So I thought, what exercise can I do that is fun for me? And I thought about dancing. Dancing is fun and I oh, like yeah. it. So it's a good exercise. <laughs> oh, yeah, dancing is a good exercise. Yeah, after you dance, you sweat a lot. Yeah, I think dancing is a great exercise. Yeah, and do you also teach uh, dance to children? Ah, no, no, no. I'm not good enough to teach dancing. I, oh. I just dance by myself. <laughs> oh, you, you're by yourself, not teaching. No, no. I just take lessons. I take dancing classes. And sometimes yeah. I get my sister to come join me. So sometimes I do some dance classes with my sister and she really likes it. Oh, I see. Well, you like dancing. Dancing is your hobby. Yeah, it's kind of like a hobby for me. I and see. It, yeah, continue. Yeah, yeah. Do you have another hobbies besides dancing and teaching? Mm, so dancing, teaching, reading. I would say I like to watch a lot of movies and TV series. It's kind yeah. of like a way for me to relax. So I like to watch that, especially if, if it is with friends. I love to watch yeah. movies with my friends. Oh, you and, like to watch movies? With friends. Yeah. If you like to watch, then do you like to watch Netflix? Yes. Oh, you yes. watch Netflix? I only watch Netflix now because there's no ads. <laughs> oh, wow. And you like watching Netflix. Yeah. How about you? What do you like to watch TV? Do you like to watch um, like an on streaming website? How do you watch TV? Uh, I, these days I'm not watching TV because uh, I don't have TV. I, we used to have TV, but the TV is not working. So my dad threw it away. So we don't have TV. So in, yeah. and yeah. what do you like to watch TV series? Uh, yeah, I like. Yeah, I used to like watching TV. I like to watch series. Uh, I like like animation series in TV. So yeah, I used to like watching TV. But these days I don't have TV, so maybe I can learn. I can have my own time, and I can learn more. So yeah, I think it's a blessing in disguise. Ah, good one. You even used an idiom. That was good. It's a blessing in disguise. Uh, yeah, thank you for saying that. Yeah, I like to learn English, so yeah, I know some few phrases, good phrases. Ah, okay, awesome. Okay, we could go through a few idioms. Okay, I'll tell you an idiom, and you can tell me if you know what it means, okay? Oh, okay. And if you yeah, don't, you. I'll explain. Okay. okay, how about beating around the bush? Uh, beating around the bush. Yeah, I never heard of that. Can you explain to me? Mm -hmm. So beating around the bush is when someone doesn't get to the point. They have to say something to you, but they don't get to the point. They go around it, you know? So it's kind of like me coming up to my mom and I'm like, I want her to give me, I want her to yeah. let me out of the house, for example. And I come up to my oh, mom yeah. and I'm like, mom, you look so pretty today. <laughs> Um, mom, did you know that you're so good? La 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 la. And then I'm talking about other things and like trying to flatter my mom, and I'm not getting to the point. Yeah. What I actually want. So my mom can tell me, "Hey, stop beating around the bush. Just tell me what you want." <laughs> oh, like that? Yeah. Yeah. So it's when someone doesn't directly say what they want. You know, they just kind of like go around it, talk about other things. Like that. Oh, I, I think I got it. Yeah, you know, my yeah, I yeah, I was gonna say I have a younger brother and he wants something, then he he can be really kind to me. So yeah, I was like, Yeah, what do you want? Uh, don't be don't be so kind, yeah. What do you want exactly? Yeah, I think I know yeah, I think I got this phrase. Exactly like that. So when your brother does that, he's beating around the bush. <laughs> oh yeah, then we can say if we beating around the bush. Yeah, you can tell someone, hey, stop beating around the bush. Just tell me what you want. <laughs> 
<laughs> oh wow, I see. Yeah. Yeah, thank you for yeah, thank you for telling me. No problem. How about to ah yes, 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 yes. To cut corners. Uh, to cut corners. Uh, I don't learn like that. Uh, I I don't know about that. To cut corners, where what does it mean? Can you tell me? Can you give mm -hmm. me an example? Yes, I'll give you an example. So to cut corners, it means when you try to find the easiest or the cheapest way to do something. So yeah. for example, if I'm a student, I can say yeah. I need to deliver this essay but i'm going to need to cut some corners because i don't have enough time to finish it meaning i don't have enough time to finish it so i'm going to need to finish in the quickest way possible even if it means oh. cutting down on the quality oh like is that me like quickest final quickest way mm -hmm. uh is uh, yeah i think you're talking about how like finding quickest way yeah, like finding the quickest way, kind of like finding a shortcut to do things. And with products, you yeah. can also say that. For example, if someone is making a toy, right, and yeah. he wants to cut corners because the toy is too expensive to make. So he's going to find someone who provides like a cheaper material or something like that. So he's cutting corners. He's finding a cheapest way to make the product. Kind of oh like yeah, that. I think I got it. Yeah, when I am school like learning, I think yeah, I will get bored. So I cut the corner and I finish fast. Like I find easy way and I finish very fast. Yeah, so yeah, when I get bored, I finish fast and I, as as I say, I like to read books. So I cut the corner and after that, I read books. In mm -hmm. yeah, school. Okay, good. You you just did well. So yeah, you understood it. So oh yeah, thank you. So good. So you understood what he meant. Then we have mm, to ah okay 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 to get out of hand. And uh, to get out of hand, like, is it mean like, uh, cut it off? Don't do that to me. Mm -hmm. What uh, did you say? Uh, I I don't know that. Can you tell me? Mm -hmm. Yes. So to get out of hand, this one's gonna be a little easier to remember than. Because you can just replace it with another word, right? To get out of control. That's all it means. To get out of hand means to get yeah. out of control. For example, I am teaching a class and there is a bunch yeah. of kids. But then the kids start speaking really loud and they start playing around and they're not listening to me. What can I say? I can say this is getting out of hand. <laughs> oh, yeah. It's getting out uh, of I control. Think I got yeah, I think I got one. Um, me and my brothers are very, we and my brother used to very annoying. And we liked running in apartment. So my mom said, yeah, get, please get out of hand. Ah, so in this case, yeah, this yeah. Uh, you would use it to describe a situation, right? So you would say like, if your mother was describing it, she would say like something, this is getting out of hand. Like you need to calm down like that. Like you would say this oh, yeah. because this situation, like this is getting out of hand. Oh yeah, this is get, this is getting out of hand. Yeah, we also speak a lot, so my mom said, yeah, oh, this is get, getting out of hand. Yeah, can you please, yeah, calm down, yeah, like that. Okay, yeah, that was perfect, really good. Now- Oh yeah, and- we have almost one minute yeah and i yeah and i want to ask you do you have another class after this class yes i have um about three classes after this one oh well three class <laughs> yeah oh yeah three class yeah i think you will be pretty tired yeah then you know, what are you going to do after three classes so after that i'll go to lunch <laughs> i'll go eat because I haven't eaten anything yeah. today. I woke up a little late. So after I finish my classes, I'm going to go have a nice meal with my family. Oh, yeah. oh, wow. With your family. Yeah, that will be. Yes. Yeah, so, yeah, that will be great. Yeah, that'd be awesome. And how about you? What are you going to do? Uh, maybe I will going to play with my brother, like listening English and playing at the same time. Yes. Yeah, so I will play, play with my brother and maybe after that, my mom. So now my mom is in office, but after mm -hmm. this class, my mom will come to home and she will have she will make dinner. So I will eat dinner and listen English, 
and maybe I will get to get to bed. I will go to bed. Okay, awesome. Well, I hope you have a great night and thanks for calling. It was oh, awesome. Yeah, thank you.